We're in downtown Pittsburgh. We're here for two days to reunite with two of our closest friends. And cut. <laughs> We tour the city, including a venue and new recording studio in former churches, see one of the most photographed places on Instagram, and sit in on the local banjo club's rehearsals. We're Steven and Andy, and we started a travel vlog back home in California at a time when we couldn't really travel. Now we're making our way around the U.S., discovering amazing places that somehow escaped our radar until only recently. Hasn't been driven in a few years. <laughs> if you saw our last video, you already know that we're in Pittsburgh, and this is the awesome place that we're staying. We already gave you a tour of our Airbnb in our last video, so make sure you check that out. Now, we're gonna take you around Lawrenceville, which is the area that we're staying in, and it has so much character. Lawrenceville sits on the Allegheny River, and like the rest of Pittsburgh, was once very industrial. But in the last decade, it's become one of the most popular and gentrified areas of the city, complete with eclectic residents, trendy eateries, and multiple coffee shops. Okay, let me get you caught up. If you saw last week's video, you already know that we're starting our Midwest tour in Pittsburgh because two of our closest friends from Los Angeles are here now. They were actually born and raised here, so they're gonna give us a local tour of the city. We haven't seen them in six months, so we're really excited to meet up with them. And we haven't even hugged them in over a year. So this is gonna be pretty amazing. We're really looking forward to catching up with them and seeing their view of their city. We were so excited to see each other and catch up that we forgot to introduce our friends to you all. This is Caitlin, Walter, and their baby Shiloh. So we're in the Millvale neighborhood right now, and we're gonna check out this really cool place. Walter used to live here. It was a church at one time. Now it's a venue, and it's got spaces where artists can live and work. So tell us about this place, Walter. Well, this is uh, Mr. Small's. Originally called Mr. Small's Fun House. Great venue, uh, maybe about a 500 seat capacity. I mean, I, this is the first place Muse played in Pittsburgh when I saw them with 300 people. My friend Mike Speranza and Liz Berlin from the band Russell Root uh, opened it up. They bought this building. I used to live in that square building in the back. Even though the venue was closed, we decided to walk up for a closer look. Walter knocked on the door on the off chance that someone was there, and as luck would have it, his friend Mike opened the door. We suddenly found ourselves getting the grand tour of all the venue spaces, old and new, that Mike and Liz had spent the lockdown creating and improving. It really is, right? It's got that vibe. Right? This is like... They even bought another former church just across the street and started to build it out as a recording studio. It felt like a VIP preview and we are definitely envious of the Pittsburghers who will get to enjoy it now that things are starting to open up again. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Yeah, we, our intention wasn't to turn this into another music related vlog, but that's just kind of our friends and their friends, and the opportunity just opened up, so we jumped in. A lot of these spaces, they've been working on them over the last year while things have been closed down. Yeah, they're really bringing everything together here. They have a community night on Mondays, and everyone gets together and plays acoustic music, and it's just really, really nice to see. We are so thrilled to be able to have seen this, to have gone inside and got a preview of everything. That was yeah. really, really special. Yeah, it was unique. They have the coolest crosswalks here. We're in 
in downtown Pittsburgh. And seriously, you guys, the buildings here are incredible. Pittsburgh is known for its three rivers. So what we've got here is the Monongahela right here on this side. And behind me is the Allegheny River. No, on that side. <laughs> Down the back is the Ohio River. So this is where they all come together. It's called Three Points. Uh, nope. That's actually not what it's called. How many points are I wasn't there? gonna say anything. Like, <laughs> let him go, let him happen. Well, technically it's called the confluence, right? Because the, the two rivers com are confluence right. that turn into one river. Okay. I've heard of the confluence. I've never heard that. <laughs> well, but, but in reality, nobody calls it that. Everyone calls it the point. Yeah, okay. Uh, So we're about to head up to Mount Washington, which has some of the best views of the city. We were really hoping to fly the drone up there and get some extra special perspectives. Unfortunately, it just started raining on us, but we're still gonna go and check it out. We're on Mount Washington and we had a torrential downpour on our way up here, but the views are amazing nonetheless. They got a little break in the rain once we got up here, so we're having a chance to experience it a little bit. Beautiful weather over here, rain over there. We enjoyed the view so much that after dinner, Stephen and I went up the hill to get a view of the city lights at night. We also got a bonus lightning show while we were up there. It's the end of day one, and we know we already came up here, and you already saw an incredible view, but we had to come back at night and see it with all the city lights, and it's even better. Oh, it's so worth coming back up here. It's amazing. And we're getting the lightning off in the distance. Oh my gosh, it's so incredible up here. Yeah, Pittsburgh is beautiful, but stay tuned. We're going into day two right away, and then tomorrow evening, we're going to a really unique event. Yeah, we're going to see the Banjo Club rehearse. <laughs> they rehearse at the Elks Club, and it's free for people to come and enjoy and sit in and watch them play. So we're gonna go check out what that's all about and yeah. uh, take you with us. Good night. Good morning. It's day two in Pittsburgh, and we're in the Oakland neighborhood at the Cathedral of Learning. It's a 42-story skyscraper at the University of Pittsburgh. What's really cool about this place is they have these things called nationality rooms. They are 31 classrooms. Two might be special event rooms, actually. And they represent the different cultures that contributed to the growth of Pittsburgh. Okay, well we couldn't get in today. They're only allowing staff and students inside. They're not doing any public tours, so we couldn't walk around. But if you're in Pittsburgh, definitely come by and check it out. The architecture is amazing here. So the Oakland neighborhood is really cool. It's got a lot of colleges up here. Some smaller local colleges that we hadn't heard of before, as well as the University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon, which I considered going to at one point. We are at one of Instagram's most photographed locations. This is Randy Land.
This is an art museum and installation created by artist Randy Gilson, and it's considered one of America's most colorful pieces of public art. There are so many cool things to do here in Pittsburgh. There's world-class museums like the Warhol and the Mattress Factory. There are sporting arenas, fields? I think fields, fields more than arenas, but They're probably open. arenas. Yeah, yeah, but the two on the river here, the really big ones that we've been able to see, I think those are called fields. I think they have teams like pirates and penguins yeah, and Steelers. Steelers. Yeah, so anyway, if you're into sports, lots of events here for you. And of course they have lots of great restaurants and bars. They've got riverboat tours. Yes. You could do the incline. Those are really cool to check out if you're new to the area. Exactly, lots of great stuff. We wanted to keep it, you know, on kind of a locals tip. So we have a banjo club rehearsal it's tonight. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> this is a free event here, you guys. It's on Wednesday nights. You just need to make a reservation because apparently yeah. it's quite popular. to suspend their rehearsals, obviously, because the whole world was suspended for the last year plus. But tonight is the unofficial start back up, and then next week is the official opening of rehearsal season again. So we were really fortunate to be able to come here and be a part of this. Uh, Steven hooked it up, he got in touch with some people, they made it happen for us. So we're so grateful for that because this is such a unique experience and we're definitely excited to be here yeah. and see this. because they were wearing uniforms. I guess they don't wear them in the rehearsal, so we're gonna have to see an official performance sometime to get the uniform effect. Sitting alone in your rooms, come near the music Wow, that banjo club was so unique. I'm oh so glad we gosh, found that. That was amazing. Thank you so much to them for allowing us to come and sit in on the rehearsal tonight because they don't officially open to the public until next week. So that was really special that we got to be there. And thank you to Caitlin and Walter for showing us around your hometown. I'm yes, so glad we got to see you guys. We love you guys. We already miss you. And you guys, this is just the start of our road trip. We got a whole lot coming in, in the coming weeks. And <laughs> and we're going to give you a preview in just a moment. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next, see you next time. time. And we're heading over to the birthing barn right now because they said a cow is just about to give birth. Let's go. Ah! The 
pirates, the penguins. I'm literally saying words that I really don't even know what sports I'm talking about. Oh, we haven't even hugged them in more than a year. That's super loud. We're in the Millville neighborhood. We're in the Millville neighborhood. <laughs> We're in the. I can't do it. We're in the Millville neighborhood. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Which is. Uh, <laughs> How do you say that? Monomonom. Monongahela. Monongahela. <laughs>